For those of you who follow Spanner Alex, you'll remember that we bought a Ford car. Uh, the idea being to see what it would cost to run and to fix a few common faults. As it turned out, our car had far more faults than the average Ford car and it ended up spending more time on the end of a tow rope than it did being driven. And we'd had enough. So we have turned our Ford car into, this way, <laughs> a Mini. Ooh. We checked it out. Um, we bought this one off our mate Strett, who seems to supply all our cars now. Well, most of them. Um, it doesn't have any head gasket issues. It doesn't have any coolant issues, which seem to be typical mini faults. It doesn't currently have any clutch or gearbox problems, which these early cars all have. Just letting a tractor go past. It's a sweet little thing, but it has a few little issues that we are going to address. And we're looking forward to owning it and driving it. So I'm going to show you the faults. It's an early R50 Mini, so it's been on the road for a few years, so it's got a few little cosmetic issues. Strangely, these A-pillar trims seem to disintegrate. Um, but this seems to be fairly common, so it's difficult to get hold of these. Luckily, we've got a set of those that came with the car, so we're going to pop those on. That'll be nice. Finish that off. And then round the back, we have a dent. Uh, paint's not broken. I don't know how the dent happened, so we're going to just try a little experiment on that and see if we can get that to come out without leaving a mark. Other familiar problem. We've got a CD changer in the boot. That's a bit sticky. We've developed a fault fixing routine for that, so we'll show you that as well. And then the last thing is... Uh, Another typical modern mini fault is the electric window seems to be very intermittent and we've got a fix for that so we'll show you that fix as well. we'll fix it. Okay, there's loads of videos about this on the internet. Um, we're going to try and get this dent out using a hot air gun and everybody uses compressed air but we're cheapskates so we're going to use anything with propellant in. We're going to try it with the ISO. Um, We've got to heat up the panel, so you heat the panel up, it expands, and then you rapidly cool it, theory being the dent just then pops out of the metal, goes back to its original shape. We'll see if that works or not. Right, here we go. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't believe everything you hear about hot air and cold, cold compressed air and all that kind of stuff. We've now resorted to the pry bar. There you go. Should we, should we just pretend we did it with the hot air cold <laughs> thing routine? We've got some little tiny dents and just see if we can improve those with heat now, I think. That's loads better. That was a little, yeah. Yeah, baby. Okay, next job is to replace these A-post covers. We've got a selection of them uh, from the scrapyard. Problem being that they, they're attached by four screws down the back, which goes into the A-pillar, and then they've got uh, these little trim clips, uh, the remains of which are two there. So they go into those holes. And then there's a rubber seal down here. And then there's also this liner material, which goes down there as well. So. Hopefully it's going to stop wind noise. Uh, we've just got to figure out how to fit them. So what you've got to do first is 
open the door, get hold of the seal and just pull that out and then you can see the screws are down there. So we'll take those off. Can you see those screws? Yeah. Take those out and then we'll get to see how we have to fit them in. Okay. left of that isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There we go, that's nice and clear. I'm just going to take out these little... I think what we're also doing with here, I think that's that's an earlier type. This is to suit the car and this may be a later type so... Really don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> really don't know. I'm just sort of guessing to see if that looks right at the minute because because you've not removed one, you don't know, do you? So it feels okay. It looks good. Fitted. Um, we think that these might be slightly later ones than the car because the seal is slightly different but that really has transformed it. They're incredibly fragile. The ones we got from the breakers yard have had a couple of the screw holes snapped off so I think it's sort of um, going to be one of those things you might want to bite the bullet and buy new but I imagine they're very expensive but that really is a good little job done so they can't look better. Right, common problem with these minis. Uh, the six disc CD changer in the boot, I don't know whether it's BMW derived or Rover derived because let's face it this is where these cars came from, uh, it won't select CDs, it'll come up with no CD when you've got CDs in there. What you do is open the little hatch, press the button and you give it a rattle and hey presto you can get it out and when you put it back in it should change okay problem number two is when you go to use the electric window switch the window doesn't work what you have to do is this is your target area here hold the switch down That's as far as we're going to go with this today. It's going to get washed, it's going to get polished, it's got some nasty scratches which we're going to try and minimise because they've been touched in and not done very well, but we can, we can reduce the impact of those. Um, we've got problems with the remote central locking which we're going to fix. Uh, we've already had a look at the key which was broken. So we're just going to drive it, see what happens, anything breaks, we'll try and fix it. So stay tuned for that. See you soon.